Ticky check. Do me a favor, take, take a picture for me. <laughs> My bad. We was right in recording. What's up, y'all? We're back, we're back. Yeah, you see how My he bad. just came in with the impromptu? Yo, yo. Yes. I thought he was about to, you know, I thought he was about to perform, you know what I mean? <laughs> right, I was like, what's going on? Yeah. My bad, my anyway, bad. Anyway, we're, we're back. back. Hip Hoppington with Kim Kim and the crew, and oh, we have a special guest. We're at the sneaker showcase, y'all. We're at the sneaker exit. We have yes. a lot of footwear in here. We need people to know who you are. A lot of heat in here. My name is Shabam Sadiq. You know what I mean? He is a dope MC, and he is from New York, just like many of us. Go I brought my composition shit. notebook out for you. Definitely. I brought my composition oh, I'm, I'm notebook out. I'm not from out. New York. Sorry, I'm from I New Jersey. I brought my composition notebook out for you. Right, y'all? I, I, I brought my composition MJ. notebook out. Just to I'm let y'all know. So, uh, speaking of New York, what part of New York are you from? I'm originally from Flatbush. Uh-oh. You know what I mean? Uh -oh. But I lived in Bed-Stuy for a couple years. I also lived in Jersey and Jersey City. Okay. So, you know, I've been on both sides of that bridge. So I've been, I've been trying to get him to come to do an interview, but every time I check, he's traveling somewhere. So what you got going on now? I mean, you know, I do a lot of traveling. I'll be going to Europe. I'll be going on a few tours. I'll be back and forth to New York. You know what I mean? A little bit of L.A., Atlanta, you know. So when trying did you to stay moving? When did you get started? I got started back in 1995, 96 mm. with a label called Raucous Records. You know, and another label called Nervous Records. Few records, few few legendary records. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I like the fact that, you know, like, oh, there's so many R's. Like, from being that you're from Brooklyn, like, even though, like, it was born in the Bronx, whatever, but, like, the mecca of the MCs is, like, from BK. So it's like the Ruckers is, like, it's so many dope players and, like, everybody not going to make it. You know what I mean? Like, did you feel like, you know, well, Brooklyn is oversaturated? Did you ever feel like I'm not going to be the one, uh, you know, like, in the front line? Because, like... Like message wise and like MC wise, like they don't really know. Like you really move around this, you know, this this universe. You know what I mean? Just doing what you do. Yeah, it, I mean it depends on your definition of making it. You right. know what I mean? I mean you can make it as in selling like multiple platinum albums, right. or you can make it as making a living. Cause I make a pretty good living, I think man. You're I, making it. I tour I the world. You know what I mean? I put out independent records. I make my money, so i could support my family off of my art right so far as i'm concerned i'm successful yeah, even though absolutely. i haven't had any big platinum albums or anything but that you know wasn't what, what it was about for us it's just what you right, said in the, the beginning the culture yeah. right? the culture right. it's like always successful the fact that we're still viable that we're out there working you know what i mean because this is what you love to do like i just wanted to be able to work at what i love to do and make money off it it wasn't about you know making a floor exactly you doing was, what you I love still, right hip hop still a viable right. source that's what of it's income. all about and if anybody's showing proving that today you are yeah, definitely. It's definitely a viable source of income if you cover every base. You know what I mean? You got your merch. You know what I mean? You got your stuff on iTunes. You got right. your stuff on Spotify. You know what I mean? You selling hoodies. You you covering the gambit. You touring. You know, all these things add up. You know what I mean? You got your publishing covered, BMI checks, right. sound right. exchange checks. If you got all your T's crossed and your I's dotted, right. you'll make a pretty good living off of being an independent hip-hop artist. Some of your song titles, like, you know when you write your songs and you got the titles, like, when you wrote, like, I think I still love her? Like, what was your mind frame, like, when you wrote that? Like, where's your mind frame? Because, like, I look at the titles of the records well, and I'm like, well, where was he at when he wrote, like... I wrote that in 2001 and I was just playing off a of Commons record. Yeah. I used to love her. Yeah, yeah. And in my record, I was saying I still yeah. love her. Yes, you know I what I mean? That. So that was just my yeah. whole concept. I knew that, that but I just wanted to hear you say that. You <laughs> know what I mean? Like, I knew that. Like, like I was going to go on Trust Yourself. And it's like, but those words and those things that, them title records that, that you come out and you, like, pretty much told me what this was about in the title. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm, I just felt like I was just getting, like, you know, some knowledge of who I was, you know, just through Trust Yourself. True indeed. You know what I mean? Like, seriously. and I seen a couple people do that title after I did it, but you know, I didn't like hear that. it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear it. So, hip hop is therapy, right? Absolutely, hip hop yeah. is therapy. So, what is your writing style? Do you go in like with an idea already, or do you just let like outside influences come in and say, "All right, I'm about to write. I'm just, I'm just in the mood to start writing." Well, my my writing style is, um, I basically. I'm always jotting down lines right, right, of right. different topics, you know, just dope punch lines, you know what I mean? And then when I sit down to write the song, I either let the beat carry me or I got a concept that I envision for the beat. So I start looking through these little pieces that I wrote, probably on pieces of paper or in my phone or in my composition notebook, and then I start 
circling things that I want to use and I come up with the verses. You know what I mean? You find so with so many style. dope MCs though. Like seriously, like that, that where you at is like right there with everybody else who's dope. You know what I mean? So like yeah. who haven't you wrote that you haven't worked with that you like listen? And it don't have to be no I mean like who haven't you worked with you say, I really want to put a record together with that person, like I just mean, hasn't you know, happened on my yet. on my ultimate wish list is like Nas and Ghostface wow. and um, right. you know, A Z and some artists like that. But I pretty much work with a lot of people. Right. That I wanted to work with. I work with Eminem. I work with right. Farrell Moss. I, I work with I Most and yeah. Quali and. That's why I said you was with you the know, whole line of dope MCs. I work MCs. with a lot of dope MCs. So that just is that's not something that's not attainable. It's just that it just never happened. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I definitely would love to work with Nas and. You know what I mean, Dr. Nas Dre? Do you, you got an yeah, idea Nas. for the record, or it doesn't matter? Like, do you? It got, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They, yeah. So Black thought. Black thought is on the my list. Nasir too. Jones is, you know. We got a couple of favorites that me and her just go back and forth. Like, What's your favorite? Like that's my husband. Like you know, like, <laughs> like my it, other favorite it is. is Black Thought. Like right, he's at right. the top of my wish list right. too for collaboration. But in my eyes, there's nothing wrong Nas can do. Okay, so the fact that you you know that's where you want to go is like ah. <laughs> Ghostface too. Ghostface at the top of that wish list. All right. Yeah. Absolutely. So I was so mad about recently. the Ghostface. I don't want to cut you off. I mean, what did you say about Ghostface? I was getting ready to say, what did you feel about that Ghostface when? What's the name? Who came oh, in? Action Mark, like, what did you oh, feel oh, about oh, that? Oh, oh, oh. I was I mean, pissed off. Me personally. I wasn't pissed off. I think they the way they did the questions, the way they asked Action Bronson the questions, they forced him to answer a certain way. Right. And he answered how he felt. You know what I mean? I mean, all rappers are supposed to feel like they shit is the right, best. Absolutely. Yeah, but you know it even man? wasn't the question. It was that his cadence, his style, here. His, his 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 vocal range. He's like, how did you sound? You he, this guy, this dude is god body. Like, what do you where, where does your conversation sound like? <laughs> him? That's what I mean. Yeah, he wasn't was supposed to go that to hard. Yeah, to yeah. Me. He was like, and where yeah, and where I said, I was like, uh uh-uh, uh uh uh, like, like yeah, uh uh-uh, you overstepping yeah, your it was boundaries. Too much. Be trying to play Ghostface. A lot of people like. And I was like, does anybody else see this? Yeah, but you can't really play Ghostface because he's solidified in the game, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. You know what I mean? It's not like he a fly by night artist. He been here for a minute right. and he's still going. So ain't no way you can really play Ghostface because I, I know it was thousands of people like, right. oh, get out of here. <laughs> you know what I mean? While they was looking at the interview. Right. So, I mean, you know, respect the both of them. about going overseas a lot. Like we, me and Kim go back and forth about how much the overseas supports this culture. Yes. Yo. Yes. They support it heavy. Right. Yes. I mean, my, my venues, when I perform out there, are way more packed out in Europe than they are out here. Right. You know, and it's just, that's just how it is, man. They, they, they really into the culture overseas. Yeah, they love it. Yeah, they still, you know, got a lot of people breakdancing and DJing and doing a lot of graffiti. Graffiti is real heavy in Europe. Right. I mean, they you know, represent. the culture, yeah, they represent right. heavy. That's why I go to Europe, you know, at least twice a year. Right. So who have you worked with recently that you enjoy working with? Um, for my album, you know, I work with L. That's one of my brothers. Um, Sky Zoo. I work with this artist named Jamel Robinson, who was like BB King's understudy. Wow. You know what I mean? Um, you know, a lot of lot of lot of new artists, man. Sha Stimuli. You know what I mean? Back to you know classic artists like Trash Gaddafi. Um, you know, a whole bunch of different people. Recently, we lost a lot of people in hip hop due to health concerns. Sean Price is my boy, definitely. I got records with him yeah. a lot. Yeah, Sean Price worked with a lot of people. Um, so recently, a lot of people we've lost in the culture due to health problems. So what we've been saying recently is we're trying to get people to support the underground artists more because it seems to be like the underground artists struggle financially as far as what to do with the money that they do get. So how would you say we need to, as media, get more people involved in coming to a show or buying your merch or something like that? Yeah, I feel like you need to support the artists while they're here and, and, and alive. Because, you know, when they're going, it's just a little bit too late to show love. Right. I mean, you can still show love, but, you know, show love while people are alive. Buy that merch. Right. You know what I mean? Support the music on, on these digital streams. Come to the shows. Because you never know when you might not ever see them again. Right. You know what I mean? When, when Prince died, I was like, damn, I still haven't got to go to a Prince show. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Same thing with a few artists. I never, you know, I seen Tribe Called Quest once live. Wow. So, I, you know, the opportunity to see Fife again it ain't never going to come. Right. You know what I mean? So, definitely when you see your artists, your favorite artists, 
you know, show them that love because sometimes they might be going through personal things in their life and that little bit of love you show them right. or keep them motivated and help them to keep making music. Like Even though things are hard. I was while I'm going type thing. You know what I mean? Like, you know, definitely show people support and love whoever they are. You know what I mean? Right. While they're alive. You know, as soon exactly. as Craig Mac died, it was all over the web. Like, tell everybody you love him. But it's like he shouldn't have had to pass for us to now right. put him up on your wall and show him. You know what I mean? Right, right. That's, that's the why way, we, you know, it happens. That's why we do what we do. Yeah, we exactly. we want to make sure that everybody has a platform. Yeah, because, you know, it's people out there that feel like if they don't see you on BT or MTV, like, your art ain't about nothing. That's it's the contrary. Right. You know what I mean? It's something for everybody out there, and some things are less popular than others. Yeah. But they don't touch you. And you gotta search left. for it, just like yeah. these kids. These kids, for your these fight. kids didn't yeah. have the opportunity to have these artists and things that's on the stage. They used to be getting them off of YouTube and googling them. Now they've taken over and they're out in the forefront. They had to search for them. So we gotta go back and search for our artists and our MCs that's still out here doing what we do. That's what we gotta do. Yeah. If you yeah. could change one thing about the game today, you know what I mean, that you feel like, you know, it went off course in some direction or if that would, you know, make a difference, you know, what would that be? Um, I would change, I would change the amount of, the amount of, um, how would you say, how, the visual of right. different artists, you know what I mean? Right. Some artists get pumped more than other artists. I feel like it should be no balance. more than equal, yeah, no equal balance. scale. Because yeah. back in the days, you know what I mean, you notice we had different type of artists, you know what I mean, and they were all getting love. Yep. Yeah, Public Enemy yeah. and De La Soul, which was two different type yep. of artists, yep. but they were still getting love. N.W.A., yep. they was on a totally different other thing than De La Soul, but they were still And they were all tour together. Love. I mean, I know Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince toured, you know, they were on the they were on the same tour, the Step the Silence, EPMD, like they were on they the were same. And they were totally different exactly. type of groups. Everybody exactly. had a sense of individuality back then. We try to make everybody remember how it used to be, right? So there was like the backpack rappers, and then there was the conscious rappers, and then they still had the gangster rappers, and so everybody had their own identity. Whereas now it's like everybody kind of like is going. Everybody kind of like yeah, everybody right. either on some trap or they on some real pop records that's what you see but they got a plenty Absolutely. of they got plenty of other artists they do around variety but they don't get as much shine as maybe the trap artists. would you work with any of the new artists today any one of them right um, and who would it be i like a lot of new new artists man i like kendrick i okay. like vic spencer i like uh uh you know ken um i said kendrick lamar i said uh j cole right. uh, -huh. uh you know, it's a lot of new artists out there I would work with. Okay. You know what I mean? Danny Brown, um, you name it. Because I listen to a, a large variety of hip hop, you know what I mean? Thank you, that's good. New and old. Right. So being that way at the sneaker convention and you're from Brooklyn. He got his Tim's on. You see, I got my shoes see, on. See, I got my. <laughs> yeah, I got my. <laughs> yeah. Those all like I'm on the sneakers. my NY shit. <laughs> no, but look, Simmons oh, he ain't on Tim. <laughs> John. I can't see him, but he ain't on Tim. <laughs> this is what people from Brooklyn do. But back in the day, we were talking. What sneaker did was mostly from Brooklyn. Like, back in the day in Jersey, a lot of people wore Reeboks. A lot of people in Harlem had Wallabies. What was the sneaker in Brooklyn back in the day? I would say the Air Max. Air Max definitely. And Filas too. Oh, Filas, yeah. Because I'm low life. I'm a Brooklyn low life, you know what I mean? It was all Shout about polo. Life. You know what I mean? But a lot of low lifes wore Fila because, you know, it matched the colors. Right. You know, Fila was a thing for low lifes. But right. I, would, I would say Air Max. Shout out to Low Life. I know third good in them. Shout out to Low Life. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to all my Low Life worldwide. So let everybody know what that's before Elliot Elliot gets life. here. Before we get with Elder Sensei. Sorry, I always say Elliot, and I don't know if he gets involved. Ah, that's because that. you know him. But um, tell everybody what Low Life is and what it represents and what, how they started. They Just give them a little bit of background about Low Life. Yeah. Yeah. Low Life. Shout out I did a Low Life rug. Way. I did the cookie rug. I mean, basically, you know, Low Life is a, is a worldwide organization of brothers from back in the days. It started out with boosting and stealing. Yes. Yeah. But I think, you know, it, it evolved more from a gang to a, a organization, a positive organization, because, you know, now we do stuff for the kids. We have toy drives. You know, it's still about the fashion, though. You know, we right. still have low goose on the deuce right. where people come out there and wear their best low fashions. We still have the right. barbecues. 
you know, we got the um the yearly event at Art Basel in Miami. Oh, so no, there's a little know. trade coming up this month. Yeah, yeah, you know where you come and trade all your low stuff. Yeah, vintage, new, whatever. You know, it's a culture. Yeah, it's part of the hip hop culture. Yeah, I did a cookie rug, and I was like, they came over. It was a big like, it was crazy. I don't know who like the founders are, but they were coming over, and it was like, who told you to do that? I'm like, huh? Like, ah. And I did like a. Then somebody asked me to do a pee wing rug, and like this was supposed to be like. I'm not, you know, I know it through my girlfriends, but I still was like, this is a, this is a cult following that the, that y'all have. Yeah, definitely, it's definitely worldwide, man. When I go to overseas, you know, it's low lights that be coming to my shows in France, you know, Germany, and they're definitely involved with the low right. culture. Where's your favorite place to perform? My favorite place to perform, I would be, it would be France, cause I perform in France a lot. My, the guy that books my shows, he's actually French, so I do a lot of towns, not not only the big ones like Paris and Lyon. Right. I do smaller spots like Saint Etienne and Clermont Ferrand and little go, places outside of the big cities. You so know what I mean? I wanna France is the shit. Take me. I, I can work for you. I'm gonna carry your bags. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. One day, my tours be like the Chitlin Circuit. I'm you know okay what with mean? Chitlin Circuit. That's all good. I'm cool with that. If I can like see the, the country circuit. at the Chitlin Circuit, I do I'm like with. I do 20 shows at small clubs I'm all over the that. world. Oh, that's and dope. I drag my bags around. I will, oh, that's, that's what I'm trying dope. to say. You need a bag handler. I'm the girl. <laughs> I'm that girl. Word. To see the country, I'm her. So tell everybody where they can find you at on Instagram. Um, you can find me at Shabam Sadiq. That's S H A B A A M S A H D E E Q. Better, better yet, you can find me at shabamsadiq.com. That's S H A B A A M hyphen S A H D E E Q. Right there, you have all the videos, all the music, all the merch. You know what I'm saying? I also paint. Do oh, you? Yeah, I do um, fine art. So I got paintings up there. Oh, you're selling your paintings? Yeah. Is this, did you make this jacket? Nah, my boy actually made this, man. The jacket is my dope. Y'all can't see yeah. it, but it's yeah, really, nah, really nah, dope. Jersey? Okay, okay, okay. It's Jose from Show Jersey. him the jacket. Show him the jacket. You know, that's hip-hop right there. You know what I mean? That's hip-hop. Very Afrocentric. I love that. That's nice. Hey, Ru. So, are you going to do any shows in Atlanta anytime soon? Um, I got a show April 7th for this, um, for Queen Chella. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I Tell them about Queen Chella because I had announced that on one of our shows. We have a segment on our show where we tell everybody upcoming events. And Queen Chella, it looks like it's going to be dope. It's kind of like an Atlanta version of Coachella, I assume. Yeah. And Basically, so with, 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 you know, a lot of underground artists, you know what I mean? Cultural artists, you know what I mean? I so saw, do you know, do you remember any? a lot of the people that were going to be there? I saw uh, somebody um, from Jersey was going to be there. Well, Hakeem Green from Channel Live. Jersey oh, representative was going to be there. She loves Hakeem Green. Right. <laughs> Shout out to Hakeem Green. All we Green. do is spark ad madism. I Ooh. think Do It All Do is going to be there. Shout out to Brick City in my hometown. Right, right, right. I'm going to be there for sure. Shabam Sadiq is going to be there. I'm so, I'm, We're I'm definitely so. going to go. I'm, Can I'm you get us in? And, and it's going to be outside, so you know That's I'm looking forward nice. to that. I love, nice. I love outside That's performances. And Nas is going to be here in May, so we're going to hook him up with Nas yeah. and get huh? that song done. You need to come get back. Get that song done. <laughs> <laughs> we want to thank you so much for stopping by because you yeah, are thanks for having me, You can come anytime. We told you last night at the studio, you are officially a part of the crew. Yeah. That's what it is. we yeah. have Hip Hop Mixing with Kim Kim and the crew. Yeah. So whenever you feel like coming through, come. We record right. on Sundays. Right. I'm with it. I'm with it. Right. Yo, shout so out to WeeklyRapGuards.com. That's yes. a... Um, that's a hip hop site that I write for. So you know we Rap do guys. reviews. We do we have um, a segment, and we we count down the top twenty on rap guys. We have we we go. Oh, through I didn't know that. We support yeah. you already. www.weeklyrapguards.com. Yes. So <laughs> yeah, we definitely use that countdown, and so people will know that the artists are still making music and it's still dope. We yeah, no good, no no doubt. That's that's basically what I try to do. I'm an artist myself. But I show love and I do reviews. You know what I mean? I do music posts. I do interviews. That's My great. latest interviews are with um, Sky Zoo. Um, I got a, a new interview with OC. 
I got Yo. another interview with uh, Mr. Funky from Lords of the Underground. Oh, you no. gotta tell Mr. Fu oh, Mr. Funky. Oh, you did an interview. You didn't come <laughs> here so, yet. So I'm just so glad that you guys are just you know staying involved. You know, yes, I mean, doing yes, more. You know, yes. even though hip hop is so many so so many different elements, but we're so lyrical over here. Like we just looking for. I'm looking for the MC. So when that's the MC come is. in, I'm like, where they at? That's, you know that's what, what I mean? we're trying so to. So it's a pleasure like to have you sitting here because you was definitely a lyrical god. And I'm glad you came down to our show. You know what I mean? We're going to come see you live. Mr. Funky live in, in France, matter of fact. Oh, you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. See how they had to leave the country to go get respect? Like, come on, right. y'all. <laughs> nah, I, I, think it's more about, I think it's more about comfortability. Like, right, yeah. And, and in France, you know, they treat you like a king. So, right. wow. you know, why not go right. there? And do it all is holding it down here. He running for office do in Jersey. Do it all for North yeah. City Council. You know what I mean? So they covering the, they covering the world, man. Right. Shout out to Lowe's of the Underground. Shout out to Low Tug. We're going to have another... Jersey artist coming well, up in like coming. one second. Yes, indeed. Again. So we'll be right we'll back. Right back on Hip Hoppinson with Kim Kim and the crew. Thank you, Shabam Sadiq. Thanks for having you me, man. Shabam.